got a Suzuki Quad Sport 50, Quad Master 50, LT 50, whatever you want to call it. This fix goes the same for a Suzuki JR 50. A lot of times you'll uh, you'll get one that's set for a long time, somebody can't get it running, and they'll just assume that the uh, carburetor is stopped up on it. But you'll clean the carburetor, you'll clean it well, you'll find all the passages clean and clear, but it still wants to run or not start and act like it's got a dirty carburetor. The actual fix we've already done, and I'm only uploading these videos because I keep getting requests on my repair videos, but a lot of the times I just don't have time to break down, break, get the phone out, and go over it, but it's a super easy fix, and it's on this side right here. You gotta take this cover off, pull the flywheel off, and behind it there's a crankshaft seal. Most likely, if your four is not running or if it started up and run for only a minute and died, it's gonna act just like all the symptoms of a dirty or bad stopped up carburetor. And actually what it is, is that seal gets hard uh, and whenever you start it up, the compression just blows it off the crank. It's just not able to stay on there. And so what you end up getting is a, a super lean mixture, no compression, and uh, it acts just like a bad carb. So it's very common on these. Also, uh, I guess the KDX 50 and the JR 50 was the uh, same for a few years, but most of the time, if the carburetor doesn't fix it, it is gonna be that crankshaft seal. It's about seven bucks from your dealer and takes, uh, the only special tool is a flywheel puller. Past that, it's about a, a 30 minute fix, if that. It's, it's relatively easy, so. Didn't really see nobody on YouTube going over that. Uh, one guy's got a long-winded video that uh, he didn't, he doesn't even cover that. But uh, most of the time, that's gonna be your problem. That's all I got.